You do not want this fight. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> Welcome to the next episode in which I will show you how to connect MSI Cloud computer with an eGPU UT3G and a Radeon RX 7800 XT card. Traditionally, if you are interested in a similar configuration but with an NVIDIA card, I invite you to my other guide, link in the description. The list of equipment needed to run the entire set is now visible on the screen. The eGPU, which you are probably already familiar with from many of my other productions. But the Radeon card will meet the MSI Cloud Computer for the first time today. Of course, the docking station is necessary here because the MSI Cloud does not have two Thunderbolt ports, like for example the Lenovo Legion Go. I have the Satoshi Thunderbolt Slim Hub Pro model, of course, there are also other similar hubs, but I cannot recommend them, because I have not tested them yet. My docking station has slightly lower bandwidth than with a direct connection, which you can now see on the screen. However, I think that in general it does not matter much until we want to take part in the race who has more frames per second. My dear viewers, I have recorded about 100 films in 5 months in various hardware configurations. Due to the above, I constantly have to disconnect the eGPU and connect it to various types of computers. I mean laptops, MSI Cloud or Lenovo Legion Go. Sometimes I test games without eGPU and the next day I have to connect it again because I have an idea for a production with hardware support. I say this because I noticed that many people have various problems with drivers or other technical problems. In my videos, if I record guides, I always focus on simple solutions, or I warn you to always properly prepare for the installation of new equipment. Proper preparation allows you to avoid most of the problems you encounter when installing eGPU. In the case of eGPU with MSI Cloud and Radeon card, I recommend as usual updating the system and installing the most important drivers from MSI.com. If after all updates on the external monitor the image is not displayed, I would like you to install the Intel Management Engine, because in some cases it affects the operation of PCI Express USB 4 and Thunderbolt controllers. Also check in the device manager in the system devices tab whether the PCI Express upstream switch port is working correctly. If there is an exclamation mark and you already have Intel management engine installed, please restart MSI Cloud with the eGPU connected. It is possible that Windows has blocked the new PCI Express device because it treated it as an unauthorized change. A window will be displayed asking you to change the pin, and in this way the connection to the eGPU will be unblocked. When the screen on the external monitor is active, we can enjoy our eGPU. The only thing left is to install the latest drivers for the graphics card. I invite you now to test two games in 4K resolution, traditionally Cyberpunk and God of War. Best regards all and have a nice day! But why would a fire troll burn Mother's garden? And since when are drivers so close to the house? Oh, uh, fine. My turn. <laughs> oh. How incredibly disappointing! Who is it? Who are you afraid of? <laughs> 
fine! Oh, let's find out. Eddie's chew. Better to send someone who's on their way out already. And you gotta be a real cold-hearted bastard to think that way about Lena. About anyone. Yeah, but that's the system. Ain't got a better one.